and I'm in the fifth grade. I'm Sophia Moss and I'm also in the fifth grade. And I'm Dallin Tanabe and from the fourth grade. Welcome to Milani Waina, home of the Manahunas. Milani Waina Elementary School nestled in the heart of the Milani community. The town that we called home did not always look like what it is today. Instead of the town you see before you, it was just acres of pineapple fields. Imagine that. Listen to the story of Milani as we take you back, back to, to the, the past. past. Imagine our town without houses, shopping centers, parks, and recreational centers. Mililani was known to have a rich heritage of legendary battles involving one of Oahu's most effective and kindly rulers, Ma'ili Kukahi. Mililani was part of the Waipiu Ahupua'a in the Eva district of Oahu. In the 1400s, Ma'ili Kukahi was known for thoroughly defeating invaders from the island of Hawaii and Maui in a battle that ended in Kipapa Gulch. Fast forward to the 1950s. Milani has changed and was occupied by pineapple and sugarcane fields owned by the agricultural company Castle and Cook. This and Oceanic Properties Incorporated chose to start housing for the island's quickly growing population. The designers envisioned a new town with an area ranging from two to three thousand acres of land. The town was intentionally planned to be an affordable community that provided what families needed. Mililani Town was specifically located so nature's gulches, such as Kipapa Gulch, would help contain its size. This project was known as the YPO Plan. Studies were being done to find out how big our parks and homes would be. Architects and city and regional planners were needed to refine the idea for this new community. On June 21, 1968, the Reverend Abraham Akaka formally recognized the birth of the new community at a dedication ceremony. City Planning Director Frank Scrivenuk described Mililani as a type of town we want to encourage and one with great potential for the future. Mililani, meaning exalted or lifted heavenward, was named by John Papa E, one of the leading citizens of Hawaiian King, the Hawaiian Kingdom. In the 1800s, he was granted the land of the entire Ahupua'a by King Kamehameha III. The history of Milani had just begun and much more was to come. Milani looked so different 50 years ago. No houses, no shopping center, no Milani Waena. Our town has really changed, and it still continues to evolve. One of the town's major changes included the birth of our school. Let's travel to the 1970s and hear about how Milani Wayana began. Enjoy the ride as you head back, back to, to the, the past. past. Hi, my name is Blake Wilson, and I am in the third grade. And my name is Janessa Zapata, and I am in the fifth grade. Welcome to the 1970s when our town was a young community. And when our school, Mililani Waina Elementary, was born. Some global events, such as the ending of the Vietnam War in 1975 and the United States Bicentennial occurred and were beginning to shape the history of the world. The island of Oahu was also beginning to develop and would soon need to house its rapidly growing population. The expansion of the new community consisted of building schools, parks, churches, recreational centers, and a town's golf course. Other improvements were made, such as the H2 Freeway. It opened in 1976, connecting Mililani to the H1 Freeway and cutting travel time in half. After Mililani Waina opened, Mililani High School followed in 1973. Mililani Waina first opened their doors in 1971. The foundation of Mililani Waina began with only two buildings, the Administration Building and the B Building, where our fourth and fifth grade classes are currently located. MDWES was the first school to use the open classroom concept. The concept of individualized instruction was a new concept to the Hawaii Department of Education. Each pod held four classes. Four to five teachers were present in one classroom of about 100 students. Teachers planned instruction around the needs of the students. Listen to what retired teacher Ms. Yanagihara has to say about working in these types of classrooms. Like anything, in any relationship, you have to make um, adjustments. You have to be open to new ideas and to consider other people's um, opinions. 
As the population of Mililaniwana grew, our school welcomed the D buildings and our library in 1973. The serving kitchen also opened in 1974. Just like today, our school did not have our own kitchen to prepare meals. Students got their lunch and ate in the lanai's because the cafeteria was not yet built. During recess, children played jump rope, hopscotch, marbles, and jacks. MWES started as a small school of about 360 students in grades kindergarten through six and about 22 staff members. The 70s were the very beginning of Milwaukee, Wayana, a school that began its impact on the youth of the new community. Adam Aquapel, a sixth grader at that time, said, although it seems that they didn't have as much as we do today, the same spirit of cooperation and admiration for one another still remains with us. What an amazing attitude. Teachers and students continue to look forward to the growth of the school as it entered a new era and onto the 80s. Hi, I'm Gage and I'm in third grade. Hi, I'm Sophia and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Yari and I'm also in fifth grade. Hey guys, did you know that this cafeteria was built in the 80s? Really? I wonder what else happened during this decade. Join us as we go into the 1980s. As Mililani Wayana entered a new decade, significant events all over the world began to unfold. One major event was when the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded, killing seven crew members aboard, including American astronaut Ellison Onizuka, a fellow Hawaii resident. The 1980s was also full of all sorts of clothing trends like laces, neon colors, and leg warmers. MTV was a major hit and helped shape the pop culture of the decade. Singers and bands like Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston and Guns N' Roses were very popular. And thanks to advancing technology, many blockbuster movies appeared like Raiders of the Lost Ark, Back to the Future, and E.T. Does this sign look familiar to you? You may have seen it driving around Mililani. This is because in 1986, Mililani received the title of All-American City. In 1983, agricultural pesticides were contaminating the town's drinking water. Residents were outraged and worked hard to have the state of Hawaii drill new wells to provide clean water to the community. This large-scale effort by Mililani residents brought national attention to the issue of agricultural contamination through pesticides. The National Civic League named Mililani an All-America City in 1986. Until today, our town is the only community in Hawaii to have received this award. Mililani Waina's campus was also changing. During the 1980-1981 school year, classroom shelves and dividers were put up because teachers began to teach in single grade teams. The 80s also began new and exciting activities for the students. It had its first ever science fair. The school also had a recycling program, student of the month, library monitors, JPO, and a basketball, football, and track team. In the mid-80s, the first computer lab at our school opened and the cafeteria was built. As you can tell, the 1980s was a decade full of events. Technology slowly started to advance and help shape the pop culture of the decade. Our school also had to adjust to the cha changing times and the needs of the air to support the academic growth of each child. And that's the history of Wyana in the 80s. Wow, Mililani has changed a lot since the 80s. I can't believe it's been 40 years since then. Let's see what the next decade, the 90s, has in store for us. Hi, my name is Dallin Tanabe and I'm in the fourth grade. Hi, my name is Anne Saju and I'm also in the fourth grade. I'm Grace Goodrich and I'm Allison Domingo. We're both in the fifth grade. As a new decade arrived, Milani Town has established over 20 years of community pride. Did you know that Milani Wina had murals on the corners of its buildings? It's true. The 1990s was an important decade for Milani Wina and Milani Town. One thing that has changed Milani Town was when the Milani Town Center was built. That's right. The, the town center gave Milani residents lots to do, including going to the Milani Movie Theater. So let's not waste time and dig into the growth of the 1990s. 
Mililani Town was the fastest growing residential community on Oahu, and families enjoyed major shopping centers, well tended parks and rec centers, lush landscaping, and safe roadways. It also provided outstanding educational facilities. In 1998, Mililani Middle School, home of the Blazers, opened its doors for students grades 6 through 8. This meant that Milani Waina went up to the fifth grade, along with its growth in numbers. Milani Waina has also expanded in its learning, giving students the opportunity to apply what they have learned in the classroom and curricular activities. In the 90s, technology was on the rise and communication was significant as students were able to expand their learning beyond the classroom. The Computech Club collaborated with the Literacy Club to publish the student newspaper. In 1996, our school was fully networked with direct access to the internet. Our school also had the Mililani Wina News Network where students experienced video production using a closed circuit system. Other student activities during this time were different, but some remained the same, such as the library in Manahune. The members of this club were fifth and sixth graders who helped in the library and learned special librarian skills. Today we call them Huina Manahune. These members are fourth and fifth graders. Other extracurricular activities include the Jolly Kiki's Kiki Chorus. This group held school and public performances with students in grades three through six. Within the next decade, our school's chorus changed its name to Naleo O Menehune. The LAEP, or the Language Arts Enrichment Program, included reading, writing, and special projects like computer work. Members would film MWES News, which featured Menehune of the Month. Currently, we recognize citizenship and academic progress awardees during our quarterly assemblies held in the DLNI. During the pandemic, our quarterly assemblies were held virtually. What are your favorite memories at Milani Wayana? Listen to what alumni Mr. Michael Peterson says about his Wayana memories. You know, I do have um, lifelong friends that I made from school. Um, as far as my classmates at the time, but I still do keep in touch with um, uh, a core group of friends, which I've made. As you can see, Mr. Peterson's friendships from Milani Waina hold a special place in his heart. As you can see, the 1990s was an eventful time in Milani Waina's history. Yep, and I love so many people inspired and ready to handle whatever he but all the decades are equally important part of the Milani Wainers history. I wonder what happened in the 2000s. Let's, Let's see! My name is Janessi Zapata and I am in the fifth grade. I am I am Alexa Oligo and I am also in the fifth grade. And I'm Rua Chang and I'm in the fourth grade. Come journey with us through the 2000s as a school and community experience is unforgettable events. Welcome to the new millennium, the 2000s. Our world has experienced significant changes during this time, such as the rapid growth of technology from the development of iPhones and sleeker looking desktops. Many events such as the September 11 terrorist attack and Hurricane Katrina tested and unified our nation. Milani Town has also experienced new shifts with the opening of Milani Ike Elementary School campus in 2005 and Recreation Center 7 in 2008. In 2006, Money Magazine also named Milani one of the best cities to live in in the United States. During this time, Milani Wina has been running for about 30 years and has grown significantly since then. There were about 45 staff members and about 580 students grades pre-K through five. Some successful alumni attended Milani Wina such as District 45 representative Lauren Cheat Matsumoto. I played sports from when I was kindergarten all the way through college, and sports teaches you things such as teamwork and dedication and how to really put a lot of commitment into something that you're doing. Mixed martial art champions and siblings, Angela and Christian Lee. So in that last round, that was not me. That was entirely my team and my family, and I owe it all to them this defense right here. American actress and model Maggie Q. As you know, being a minority in the business, it's hard. It's really it hard. hard. And this network. 
actor and social media influencer Russell Satelle. Out of Milani, Hawaii, I went to Milani, Hawaii in elementary, Milani Middle, and then Milani High School. So, Milani Boy, all the way. Singer and social media influencer Halia Beamer. Since I live in Hawaii, I love to go to the beach a lot, and I do take a lot of pictures at the beach, and that's why most of my feed is like very artsy and like tropical pictures. Hawaii News Now sports multimedia journalist Kyle Chinnan. Aloha and welcome to the very first episode of H&N Overtime, the Hawaii News Now sports podcast. I'm your host, resident sports guy Kyle Chinnan. Education reporter at the Honolulu Star Advertiser, Esme Infante. Uh, for anybody who's familiar with Milani, Milani Waena. And then I'm, I'm of the age that we got bus to Wheeler Intermediate back in the day. An actor, Keikoa Kekiumanu, who starred in big roles such as Aquaman and Hawaii Five-O. So what's with the big fork? It's a trident. Now defend yourself. <laughs> to what Mrs. Laura Takara has to say about the alumni of our school and the success that each person contributes to our global community. I think our school has really had a positive impact on the community and even farther reaching the pool for those who moved away. During this decade, many clubs and organizations at Mililaniwa Aina continue to thrive, such as the Student Council and our junior police officers, Mililaniwa Aina also participated in Jump Rope for Heart. During the next decade, our school shifted to celebrating Fitness Fun Day. The cross-country team also began. There was a lot of development in our students and staff during this time. Mililaniwa Aina has impacted so many people. Mrs. Willa Takara, former teacher, thinks that Waiana is a wonderful school and would recommend it to anyone. Tracy Nakama, another former teacher, thought of MWES as her second home. And Mrs. Lori Owano, our current vice principal that used to teach, says that she thinks Mililani Waina taught her what to do when she had her own time. As you can see, Mililani Waina is a very special place to many people, and many more feel that way, too. Now let's pass it over to the next decade that kept Mililani Waina thriving, the 2010s. Hello, I'm Alexa Oligo and I'm in the 5th grade. And I'm Lua Chang and I'm in the 4th grade. Many worldwide events happened in the 2010s. And our school continued to develop well during this decade. Welcome to the 2010s. Some true milestones of this decade have revolutionized our world as we know it today. We took our first Uber rides, our first selfies on social media, and began streaming music and movies at our fingertips. Online gaming and e-commerce expanded as millions of people used the web to play and shop online. SpaceX achieved its first successful landing of Falcon 9. Movies such as Toy Story 3 and 4, Avengers, and Alice in Wonderland hit the big screen during this decade. At Mililaniwa Aina, we believe supporting the ch whole child entails academics as well as character building through the participation in co-curricular activities. Makerspace, Hula Club, and a Japanese Club were some additions that our school offered students to engage in. There were outstanding achievements in our robotics team, national history participants, and our school's cross-country and track teams. There were fun, also fun events and field trips, such as the Mililani High School's homecoming parade, fifth grade's Camp Erdman trip and banquet, fourth grade's Bishop Museum sleepover, 4th grade's bike ed, kindergarten's Thanksgiving tasting activity, our 100th day of school celebration, fun fair,
and the Fitness Fun Day that left a lasting memory for students throughout the years. One activity that students look forward to is student-focused planning time. SFPT occurs about six times a quarter for each le grade level. Students in grades K to 5 participate in resource classes such as PE, Art, STEM, SEL, Technology, and Hawaiian Studies. In the past, there were also drama and music classes. In PE, students build physical competence and knowledge of movement by playing a variety of sports. Students develop physical fitness while also having a fun time. In art, kids develop a better understanding of art as a way of learning about themselves and the world around them. Art brings ab about the view of having multiple perspectives. Our school also participates in the Sight is Beautiful contest, which brings out their creativity. In STEM, students in preschool through grade 5 solve problems and test their solutions through relevant real-world problem situations using the engineering design process. In technology, students focus on digital literacy and digital citizenship. Students learn how to use various programs like Seesaw and Code.org to showcase their work in various content areas. Students learn how to be responsible, respectful, and safe in the digital world. In Hawaiian Studies, students learn the basic Hawaiian knowledge and history of Hawaii, as well as perpetuating our culture with more of an emphasis on melee or music. In SEL, or Social Emotional Learning class, students learn about different emotions and co coping strategies. They practice this through fun activities with their classmates. The 2010s was a significant time for Mililaniwa Aina. Students worked hard and took pride in their accomplishments projects and presentations. The field trips and school events were fun and engaging. These experiences are what we cherish and keep close to our hearts as we grow up. Listen to what alumni student Eris Pashan reflects on how Mililani Aina impacted him. I'm a, I'm a quiet person, but in elementary, like, I kept talking to all my classmates and eventually became good friends and some of them are still good friends but now until high school. So I, yeah, I'd say just uh, you know, being friendly. As you can see, many friendships began at Melilani Aina and continue today. What friendships do you hold a day or to your heart? And now it's time to see how the beginning of the 2020s has impacted our school and the world. Hi, I'm Grace and I'm here for Hi, I'm Ansel and I'm in 4th grade. I'm Keanu and I'm in 2nd grade. I'm Kiari and I'm also in 5th grade. I'm sure we can all say that the 2020s were challenging times for no one Yeah, learning during the pandemic was hard. Not to mention we had to be online in the 2020 and the 2021 school year. Yep, let's dive into the decade and connect with our students by telling them more about these school years. The 2020s began with an ongoing COVID-19 pandemic that brought on global changes in our health, economy, and education. The first two years of this decade were challenging times for Mililani Waina. Our school quickly learned how to transition from in-person learning to virtual learning. Social media apps were on a rise as people craved interaction and connection with others. Apps such as TikTok and Instagram became more popular platforms to make those connections because people were encouraged to stay home. Like all the schools in our nation, Milani Waina has been impacted by COVID-19. The virus unexpectedly forced our school to shut down during the fourth quarter of the 2020 school year. We have decided to extend spring break by one week. A recent DOE announcement caught teachers, parents, and the health department by surprise. The teachers union says that still puts teachers and students at risk. Our teachers and staff are faced with the challenge of providing the quality education that students needed. Melanie Waina transitioned to a continuing of learning schedule. 
Teachers work together to provide learning packets and digital learning activities posted on the school website. During the closure, there were 750 student video conferences and 350 learning packets passed out. Spring 2020 will never be forgotten. The students and staff spent our last day together enjoying Fitness Fun Day. We left campus that day thinking we'd see our friends again in the fourth quarter. Little did the world know that our lives would change forever. COVID-19 hit us hard and we wanted to make sure we stayed safe. During the 2021 school year, our families had a choice to receive instruction online using a Celis Academy or to attend school on a hybrid schedule. Masks were required at school to keep students and staff safe. Milani Wina offered a free vaccination clinic to open to any student that wanted the vaccine. The physical foundation of sh and structure of our school remained the same. However, there were many changes in classroom seating and arrangements. Each student received a desk shield and had to sit three feet apart from their classmates. Each classroom had their own class bubble to prevent widespread exposure. Students and teachers followed new health rules and procedures such as social distancing and proper hand washing. Milani Wina's students and staff worked together and did a great job responding to the pandemic. Although there were surprising changes in this new decade, Milani Wina stayed the same in many ways. Some clubs and organizations such as GT, Student Council, and JPL stayed active during the pandemic. As we continue to get back to normal, our school continues to open more opportunities for students such as track team and fifth grade complex fitness day. The impact that Milani Wina had on students during the time was difficult at first. But with every adversity lies a seed of opportunity. Throughout the decades, Milani Wina provided the childhood experiences that are still instilled in our oldest alumni today. And as our world changed, we changed. But a few things stayed the same. The laughs, the cries, the hardships, the hopes, the friendships, the memories. This is Milani Wina. This is who we are. As we celebrate the past 50 years, we remember the moments that we made that made every student who they are today. We may no longer walk this campus in the next 50 years, but we will look back and remember our stories. What stories will you tell? The future lies ahead, and it is ours to hold. It hasn't been written yet, so whatever it is, remember to make it a good one. Like we always did and we always will. Miller and Wina had an impact on my life and I know we'll have an impact on many others. Wow, that's the end of the decade and the story of Miller and Wina. For now, as we learn about our past, we can play in the future, so make it a good one. Happy 50th anniversary, Miller and Wina! Adam Aquapel, a sixth grader at that time, said, although it seems that they didn't have... Can't see. <laughs> the very beginning of Milani Wine... I can't... Wow, Milani has changed a lot since then. <laughs> I can't... I'm oh, sorry, I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. What? People <laughs> continue today. What friendship? What friendships do you? And now it's time to see how the beginning of the <laughs> so make it a good one. Happy, Happy birthday, anniversary! anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, anniversary! Are you so much?